today I'm going to make coconut oil pulling drops. Oil pulling is very good, it gets a lot of bacteria out, it's super good to do. Um, it helps with bad breath, it helps with gum disease, it helps with tons of stuff, you can look it up, it's awesome. Um, I am going to follow Wellness Mama's oil pulling drop recipe, uh, kind of. I'm going to follow the base of it and then switch it like I always do. I've been trying to have my daughter and me do oil pulling every day for 20 minutes. Um, she's had some teeth issues, tooth problems, which I'll make another video on um, like a cavity healing diet that I've kind of been having her follow and a protocol that I've been doing with her. But this video is on how to make the coconut oil pulling drops. Um, you can do it with straight up coconut oil. My daughter doesn't like the taste of just plain coconut oil, so I add a couple different things, but I also add thieves oil. Um, and you want to get therapeutic grade essential oil, whatever brand you use. I do sell Young Living, but I, I only am a member for myself. I trust this brand. I know there's a few other good brands out there, but you want to make sure you get therapeutic grade essential oil if you're going to be putting it in your mouth. Um, Thieves is a really great blend. It's got clove oil, lemon, peel oil, cinnamon bark oil, eucalyptus, leaf, uh, rosemary leaf. So it's good stuff, it smells really good, and it's, it's kind of antibacterial. Um, so, and it just smells really good. So it's very strong, so that's, um, if you ever use essential oils, especially with children, you want to dilute it with oil. So you got to be very careful with oils because if you use it just straight on your skin, it could burn. Um, it depends on what kind of oil it is where you're putting it, so you want to make sure you research before you use essential oils. So for this recipe, I'm going to use half a cup of coconut oil. I'm going to gently um, melt it, and then I'm going to add 20 to 30 drops of this, and then I'm going to add some stevia powder as well, like pure, just straight up pure stevia powder. Um, it kind of helps it sweeten it a little bit and kind of cuts the strong taste of this. So. I'm just going to add 20 to 30 drops of this and you don't want it to be too hot when you add the oils because oils are sensitive to heat. And then I have these, um, they're like ice cube trays but I like um, that they have like a soft bottom because then you can just pop stuff out. So I'm gonna pour the coconut oil in here. <clears throat> I'm gonna wait for it to cool down a tiny bit more and then I'm gonna pour it in and then put it in the freezer and then once they're frozen just pop them out into a glass jar that I keep in the fridge and then every night I just have my daughter put, put one in her mouth and do a coconut oil pull for 20 minutes. We read during that time. I read a book for her so um, and a, a good time for an adult to do an oil pull is when you're in the shower because you're in there anyways and you just do it. And you want to make sure when you're done swishing it for 20 minutes you spit it in the garbage. You don't want to uh, spit it down your sink because it can build up in, um, in your pipes and that's not good. So just spit it in the trash um, when you're done. 